Hey dudes, uh, Maximum Spider again. Here to commit some more thought crime for ya. This is my first match today. I haven't done any warm ups, but um, who yeah, cares? Just points, right? Just points. I'm playing a yellow bar, some guy in America. So, I'm uh, playing some bad character. You can't play Chun Li in yellow bars, it's just pointless. Don't even try. Sometimes I'll play yellow bars just to play different people, but it, it, it doesn't mean anything. I've never actually played this matchup, Makoko versus Sagat, so I'll probably lose considering this guy's number 111. And he's got a, a decent name, The Living Paradox. Obviously, he's thought a long time about that. Are you ready? Oh shit. I'm playing on my bedroom TV, this one's got a bit better input delay than one in the living room, so I might hit more combos this time. Zoning characters that you've really got to be able to use his normals to actually do anything with him. It's just sort of like a really slow jump lane if you think about it. Damn ass for that. I like to use him because his combo is often too difficult, he does quite a lot of damage, even if you can't really combo too well. So you don't really need to practice with him too much, you just need to figure out how he moves. Too bad though to say that I've never played that matchup before. <laughs> Not too unhappy with that. Did you see that, Daddy? I'm gonna fix that dojo up good. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if we can find a better connection this time. It's a bit cheeky when you get American players joining your um, English game. And they know that, that it's going to be a bit of a dodgy connection, but they join anyway. You can't play Chun-Li, except in green bars, because all of her anti-airs, none of them have invincibility after you use normals. So they have very specific timing that you need to use them at. So if, if it's a bad connection, you're screwed, basically, with Chun-Li. I think you get a better competition if you create your game because people who reckon they can beat you, like, they come and, they come and look for you. Whereas, if you join games, you can choose which matchups you want. If you, if you don't like some guy, maybe he's too good for you, you can just avoid him and so on. So creating matches is uh, how you find the strongest competition, I find. Well, it's, it's been a while since I played this matchup. 
thing you gotta remember against her is that you, you've always gotta quit her as if you can, otherwise she's gonna activate healing on you if you use that ultra. Personally, I think it's a pretty bad ultra to use against Chun Li because if she does, if she does quick rise, then you've just screwed yourself. You'll get punished for it. But but this one, this Elena, they've, they've chosen Ultra One instead, so I think that's that's a good decision to make. Lena always likes to do a lot of high low mix ups, low short into an overhead, so you gotta watch out for that. She's also got really good normals, so she can zone pretty well. So if you, if you see a guy and they've got really good space in with Elena, you don't be careful. I haven't faced many learners that use this ultra against me, so I don't know what it can do. But I managed to be her anyway, so that's pretty good. That Elena, she was alright, I guess, but you need to play more spacing games against Chun Li with Elena. I found that standing face punch doesn't work very well against anti air against her, so you have to use middle punch instead, or um, crouching middle punch. Because her air normals have like really sick hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see who wants to play next. Athanasis. It's sort of like an Egyptian sounding name, isn't it? Athanasis. Athanasis. Hatchetsu. Something like that. Akhenaten. But that was uh, Tutankhamun's is that. Akhenaten. And he was married to um, Nefertiti. <laughs> I learned that at a museum one time. I like to choose my own stages, that's one of the perks of creating your own lobby. You don't have to play on training stage all the time. So that's cool. This guy might be faking me out. He might actually not be a beginner, but just just watch him, see if he does any like um, forward middle kicks. Because that's usually the hallmark of a good campfire to use that. This guy is a lot better than his mate now. Oh, well, maybe it's not. What was that fucking sweet pal? No, this guy's rubbish. A mile, man. Doing. If that was the fakest of the fake, fakest round ones, or this guy just really
always do that. Either they'll do that and they'll try and throw you, or they'll get wise to that and do an extra Yuken, in which point you just go, no, I'm not doing that anymore, and then you let them do that and you punish them again, so... Always get tricky. If you see them do something, then uh, remember that for next time, because they'll probably do the same thing. Unless they're really good and then they'll take you out and do something different instead. Most good players, the first decision they make is um, block. Block. Just block. See what he does. Because you have no idea what sort of person you're playing against until you've actually got into the game. Room. I actually boot camp this match with a really good guy called um, the online captain. He's a really good Elena player. He's, he's really good at spacing, so I learned quite a bit about it. But I'm, I'm not always confident against Elena players. I have to admit. And this guy is not one, so that worries me because he might just be a smart count. Proving a point about that sort of player. When you join games and you find them, better to create a lobby. I think. Then, then you find people that are searching for same skill, more skill. I don't mind who I play because sometimes you've got to play like really shit people because. You don't want to fall into that trap where you're watching what they're doing too much and then they make you make some really stupid errors because you're paying too much attention to what they're doing and how, how retarded it all is. You know, like that Gandhi guy. It's sort of like some weird, um, weird thing that they draw you into. Like, like they're controlling the frame on you and you're falling into his retarded frame and you're even more retarded than him for doing it. I'm not too confident about this matchup because I think Goken has quite a few good tools against Sakura. Like, a, lot, a lot of the way she attacks is quite straightforward and his parry will be quite good against that and this guy's the number 14 so yeah I don't think I'm going to win this match but I'll give it a go. Oh, this 
this guy the disrespect? What's he doing? Trying to use face punch because I'm thinking like Chun Li at the moment. That was a disaster. If that guy joins again, I'll play Chun Li again. I'll give him a better match. Played Sakura because he was a yellow bar. You get that a lot with Spanish players. Their internet's not so great. I don't like playing Chun Li if I if I don't know whether this connection is going to be any good, but. The connection seemed alright. I can't really complain about that. I was just really shit. I give that guy some props. If I have time for this, time to start. Tony near to 83. More yellow bars. It's not great, is it? You're only playing some Chun Li and just keep getting these yellow bars over and over again. I could kick them, but that's not very nice, is it? I need practice against this match as well. It's Chun Li because it's a really difficult match with Chun Li. Boxer, he can just brutalize her if it feels like it. Like, if, if the guy knows just to hold the stick in the forward position until he gets you into the corner, then you're pretty much doomed. Sometimes you'll see boxing players and they'll back off as their first decision. That's always the wrong thing to do against them. Once again. Hello. Hello. I'm not giving that guy any pops because he uses the bow rug. I don't think you can encourage people like that.
got another eight minutes before this this recording runs out of time, and I can play Chun Li again. Yes, yes. I mean, I don't mind the yellow bars because it gives me practice against with my side characters. But I still much rather be using Chun Li. This is an alright matchup for Chun-Li, but it's still a bit difficult. Especially if you find someone as good as like Arturo Sanchez. You'll make it very difficult for you. Dal seems main weakness is when you actually get next to him, but a good player who has really good defence will still make it hard for you. Oh look, I'm number 50 now. That's a nice round number. Likes some teleport shenanigans. Keeps doing that, so I'm just going to keep looking for it. Every time, what are you doing, man? Don't autopilot it. You don't play Dalsim as a mix of character, it's not a mix of character. You zone with it. And then you do your setups when you have super. Double fares. She's really pants, so unless you use like Black Polner F or that really broken character, you're a bit screwed. So it's a shame because it's a really pretty game, but apparently it's really broken. Leonardo 342014, and this guy's Canadian, so this isn't going to be a good connection. He's off in the mountains somewhere, and I'm all the way on this stupid island, so. I've got three minutes left and it's sort of taken its time to load, so I might cut off before the end of this match. So I'm sorry about that. I'll try my best. I 
I like this day because it's nice and bright and the music's not too annoying. I don't like that um, that hip hop stage because it's, it's way too neon. You can't see fucking shit. I don't like the volcanic stage because sometimes fireballs and like particle effects you start confusing characters. So try not to choose those ones. Oh god, look at this connection! What the hell? Why did I play this game? Oh man, what the hell? This is torture. Okay, I'm just going to stop the video here because this isn't going to be fun to watch. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.